this is a wonderful day and also a wonderful, wonderful addition to the Android Power Director app, which is Chroma Key. And I'm going to work backwards through my demo video here. So if you don't know how important a Chroma Key is, it's taking things like this, which is a lion, of course, which is an image on a blue background, or even taking a another lion with a green background and making those colours, whether it's the green or the blue or any other colour for that matter, disappear. And then what we end up doing, and this is my demo, so I'm going to take a few minutes here, is if we had a um, scene like this, which is a village green, of course, with some daffodils, red phone box and stuff, and then we wish to come along and just mysteriously add a picture of a lion, we could do it like that, but it's, it's more than that. And that is that what's actually happening, if you're not sure about uh, chroma keys or that you are new to it, what happens is that if you click um, the image, you will get an edit. And the new button on the bottom here is chroma key. And when you click it, what it actually does is it takes away the color that you designate. So if you are an experienced video editor, the chances are that you'll be using chroma key on your desktop editor, but for those people on mobiles, there are not many uh, video apps that do it, but thankfully we have got it now in PowerDirector and it's pretty awesome. So the way you actually do it is you click to select, sorry, click to select a color, in this case the green, uncheck, and then you see what you're left with meaning that this, as it's a quality image, it could be a video, but in this case it's an image, is the moment you move it, you can see that the green has disappeared. You do have some controls over that, and you can hit the edit button once again, hit chroma key, and then what happens is that you've got the color range, which I'll dial down, you can see that it's just uh, fuzzing in the green on the outside, and then you bring it all the way through, and on this one, not a lot, um, is needed to happen. So I'm going to leave it at its default at 13. The de-noise, if I bring this all the way down, again not much happening. Bring it all the way up and in this case not much happening and the reason not not much happening is because this image is being almost like studio prepared in an animation. So let's have a look at some other examples. This one here is a, another line to demonstrate to illustrate, it's on a blue background instead. So what we actually did is you click to activate the tap to remove the color. You click somewhere on the image. For example, if I clicked here on the line and then turned off, what I get is something a bit reversed. And I'll come to that in a moment with some more examples. So you turn it on and I'll say I want that piece and I turn it off. If it kind of looks okay, hit the back button and then you can see that we've got our line. These are demonstrations. We can add an extra layer and we can get two color keyed videos or images at the same time. So let's keep going and I'll tell you how I got there today. So I saw the feature, started to muck about with it and we can do the conventional which is a stand up, you know, person on a green screen and you can get them in. But I want this video to be a little bit uh, more in depth with that, a little bit more creative. So. First of all, I had a video here, which I just happened to do only yesterday, and then mysteriously we add a calculator over the top. Now, this is a demo workshop brainstorming thing. So what I was trying to do is first of all to see, number one, how simple and how easy is the chroma key? My answer, extremely sensible and good. Number two, does it actually work? My answer, yes it does. It's, I was gonna, sorry, sorry, an F word there. Um, very, very good is what it is. And then, how much control have we got to be creative? Now in this case, let me just uh, check it again, edit button, chroma key, and there you, are, there you go. If we dial it down, it does get a bit leery because, you know, this, this is photograph was done by my mobile phone, nothing big deal. You can see as I slide it, the colors are coming and going. So I'll just take it to the denoising bring this in. See, this is not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. It's really so quick, so quick. If you've done Chroma King before on desktop, it's a nightmare. Honestly, it's an absolute nightmare. Um, so that was the original image. Not a great image. Let's keep moving. This one here, we've got a red background. 
I started off looking at, oh, it's gone somewhere down here, yeah, what I did here is, and this is something I was messing around with, is that there is, I'm always messing around, is the image I've got was literally just um, a white background, or, or sort of off, sort of off white, with a proper white at the bottom, a tree, a chap, and a dog, that's it. And I thought, well, hold on a second, what would actually happen here? And by messing around with it, we've got very, very quick time to say that there is our, remember it was a tree on a white, we've now converted it to a tree on a red, and then if I just play it, it nicely goes through to a green, and then nicely goes through to a darker purpley colour. So that's another example. We can use it for still images and just get rid of white things. What about if we did a little bit more than that? Then we could come in and say, here's our you know, regular field video thing. What I've actually done on this time is I've created a, <laughs> created, I've got a piece of white paper and I've type, typed, goodness me, you can tell it's, um, I've been working hard on this, meaning what we've got is a piece of white paper, there you go, look, with a marker pen with the word look and an exclamation, nothing big deal, and you can see the quality is awful. And the reason I made it awful is because I just wanted to see how quick I could do it. Once again, you can see that dialing in and dialing out, see that one doesn't do much, does it? This is what you've got to do to get these things right, you've got to muck about with it. Let's try that, go back, now we've got clearly a piece of paper, the moment you readjust the timeline, we've got the word look over it. So what I've now done is I've got an interactive whiteboard of mucky old notes that I've written down. We could also do the same thing here with a shatterproof ruler. That's on a white background and you can see it's not great. Um, but again, I've done it really quickly. Going on to the next one, I have just put down a red arrow and a bit of um, yellow. I quite like the look really because as a teacher it gives me an awful lot of fast flexibility. Yes I could add um, some text by typing it as an overlay but this time I just wanted to write the word Muntjac which is the little creature who's running about the place in the field, a prehistoric um, like little deer thing uh, in England and as I've done it I thought actually by the time I've mucked about with it or looked for something I could just write it on a bit of paper quickly get my mobile phone take a photograph shove it into Power Director off we go another example here's some notes here of mine where I was just brainstorming the, the storyboard app and that was it and I thought right what would happen what would happen then I came along and I put a yellow background down and it goes like that to backtrack we've got the original image and then we have added a chroma key of course and there now I've got, and I could show you, which is quite interesting, because if I can come along and then I can, I know you can't look at it very well, but what I'm trying to say is I've got my static piece of white background with blue, and I can now start to change the background on white paper. For me, that's a really big deal. So let's take a couple more examples and finish off. What's this one? Um, oh yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's quite interesting, because what we've got here, is that if you take, um, yeah, sorry, that, that, that's done it, isn't it? Um, let's click there. Let me just go back, hold on. Yeah, so I was out earlier, retail park, a little blue door um, with red brick, and that was it. I thought, I know exactly what I'm doing here, take a picture of it. Uh, this is a video, by the way, and then, oh, it's now a red door. Why? Because I've chroma keyed the blue colour. So if I click this, and I edited it, and I hit chroma, then I could come down and say, okay, what, what colour shall I take? I'll tell you what, let's have the green grass. What would that look like? Now the grass has disappeared. Yes, I could do the sliders. Go back. I want the blue door, and turn it off. Go back, and now you've got something a bit more creative. I've left the red board around the outside just to see what it looks like underneath. It's up to you for your cre creativity to shove whatever in you like. What's this one? Yeah, this this is an interesting one because there was some holly growing on the ground and again, everyday objects here. And what we've got is there was a blue street lamp. So what I've done is I've said I know exactly what I'm doing here. I want to get rid of the blue. So therefore I'm going to chroma key it out. So I click on it. Uh, sorry, click on it there, click on it there, click on it chroma key. You can tell I'm quite excited about the feature. And, you know, before you know it, we've got... Really interesting because it would be very difficult or impossible actually with Power Director to get that angle um, in the video frame. So all we do is put blue on it. Then 
we can do whatever we like with it. Okay, it's red, but it could be the start of something with an angle and some text images, call it what you like. Then the last one over here, we have got, um, which in many ways is very challenging, very interesting, it's the same retail park, but what we've got is, we've that, that's the sky. In real life, I did have a sort of like a blue sky, it was like a really weird blue cloud, it doesn't look like it there. The point of it is, what can I do with it? And that is that I can change the whole thing to be, oh, let's move it a bit, um, a pink sky, and we can play around with different colours on it, just to see the app and how it responds to the colours and the noise, we have got um, dialing down look, horrendous, that print comes in, if you watch the word bargains and the pound store thing, that starts to change, and so you've got to get a mixed hit, mixture here, about there, maybe you can see the way it's getting a bit leery, a bit leery, a little bit leery, we might get away with it there, so then we can come back and now we've got just a readjustment, our pink sky with a retail thing. It's pushing the app and it's pushing our ideas. Then we're back and finishing the video, back to our village green. Then we've got a line up here. For ease I've used still images. You can easily, easily use um, multiple or videos for these green screens, paper notes, whatever the internet throws at you, whatever your imagination and the most importantly, your freedom allows you to create something pretty cool with the chroma key in PowerDirector Android app new feature added today the 23rd of December 2017 as again as always thanks AZ screen recorder